quilts and I'm here today to do another block for you it's called electric Avenue and it's actually in quilt makers magazine volume 12 so I will not be giving out any actual cutting instructions I will just be showing you what I am sewing but it's a very nice block that you can use with any scraps and get some things completed or get some things out of your work area pretty fast but the block number is 1184 and it's designed by Jesse Kurtz, J-E-S-S-I, and last name Kurtz is K-U-R-T-Z. So let's get started on the block. I, so as you can see, I have all of my pieces laid out, and actually I did not have to cut anything for this block. I went to my stash of squares, and I pulled out everything that I needed, and then even these rectangles I already had pre-cut left over from a previous project. So this is a pretty easy block to sew together I'm just going to go and sew some of these units together and then I will come back and show you some of my progress but this one's pretty fast and doesn't even need a whole lot of instructions so I will see you soon so I'm back with my units sewed I decided to make everything into four patches to make it easier to sew together and then in addition to that I also did the Eleanor Burns technique of rotating the seams and then having this little small mini four patch in the middle and that's so that when I go to put the blocks together I don't have to worry about the seams matching up they will nest into each other and then on the pieces where I had a solid piece of fabric here um, I wanted to make sure that they nested when they came into the next blocks so I put a little slit into the fabric so that I could still nest this long seam so I just cut a slit and then pressed it around the circle anyway so that's a tip if you have pieces that you are placing with a piece that has a solid strip set like here like on the outsides I didn't have to worry about that but whenever you have a seam then this bulk would have been going one direction when it was at the top and the bottom so that's why I nested that seam I'm going to go sew these units together and then I'll come back with the completed block I'm back with the finished block and so this block now measures 12 and a half inches unfinished so that is my block for today. I hope you like it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye for now.